Welcome back into Talking You Fitchburg. Joining me today from the Department of A Trade Consumer Protection, you'll recognize her. It's Laura. Laura, welcome back to the show. And today we're talking about hello. We're talking about tax identity theft awareness week, uh, beginning uh, January 25th. Tell us about this week. Yes. So if you're looking forward to getting your tax refund in the new year, so are tax identity fees, right? So the FTC, of course. <laughs> yes. The FTC has designated this uh, the week of January 25th as Tax ID Theft Awareness Week. And that is because every year around this time, there are tax ID thefts, thieves out there looking to get your refund. So tax identity theft happens when someone else uses your social security number to get a tax refund or a job. So what, how do you find out this happens? Often you will file your taxes and you will find out that someone has already filed them before you um, using your social security number, or the IRS may send you a letter saying that more than one return has been filed in your name or that their IRS records show that you have wages from an employer that you don't recognize or you don't know. So first of all, the, one of the best ways to avoid tax ID theft is to file your taxes as soon as you can. The sooner you file them, the less time a scammer has to file them before you and steal your refund. So that's our biggest takeaway. Get out there, file your taxes as soon as you can. Don't procrastinate. Um, the Department of Justice and, and the Department of Revenue um, investigate and look at these uh, tax ID fraud and, and tax preparation fraud and DADCAP works closely with them to try to identify that and get in front of it so people are not, um, fall, they don't fall victim to it. So if anyone that you know or if you are suspecting that you have uh, been a victim of tax preparation fraud, you should certainly file a complaint with the Department of Ag Trade and Consumer Protection. We'll look into that, working with our partners, as I say, the Department of Justice and the Department of Revenue. Um, so one of the things that you should think about when you're looking for a tax preparation service is that you're using a company that you trust or an individual that you trust with your most valuable personal and financial information, right? There's a lot of information you provide a tax preparer. So you should do this um, you should do this cautiously. You should be very clear on the organization that you're using and that they're a trusted organization. Um, if you want to pay to have it done, you should do your research, make sure um, there are no complaints against this particular entity, uh, that there's no, you could check with UVB, you could check with DADCAP, um, but make sure that you do your research beforehand. Um, some tips to avoid to avoid becoming a victim of tax preparation fraud is is thinking about when you're look when you're using what's called a holiday a holiday loan or a, a refund anticipation loan. A lot of us will need need that money to bridge the gap, and we will take out a loan anticipating the refund that we're getting in return. There are scammers in that space. There are some tax scammers, uh, prepare scams that. They say they're giving you a loan and then they use your information that you give them in the context of that loan to file your taxes for you without your uh, authority and your approval. So that's illegal that it's, you cannot file someone's taxes without their approval. Um, so, but sometimes when you're taking out these loans, there are companies, not all companies, but there are some that will steal your information and file your taxes. So be careful when you're providing your personal information to take out one of these loans, that you are very clear on whether or not you want them to file your taxes for you and whether they intend to file your taxes for you. And by no means should you file or sign a document that allows someone to file your taxes for you if you don't want them to, if you don't intend, them, intend for them to. So when you're filling out documents for a loan, you should be very clear on what you're what you're signing um, and that there's not a piece of paper in there that says they can file your taxes for you without you knowing it. Um, so that's a way to avoid a scam. But the other good news is, um, or the good news is that there are sources of information that you can go to to figure out how you can get assistance to file your taxes and avoid some of these um, fraudulent companies. 211 Wisconsin um, is a great resource for all kinds of information and some of which is, is how to file your taxes. So if you dial 211, you can find information about, um, about whether or not, uh, where you can get assistance filing your taxes. 
Some people may be familiar with VITA sites or volunteer assistance tax application, um, it, volunteer income tax application sites. Um, with COVID, like everything, not as many of them are open. Um, unfortunately. Um, however, if you visit the IRS.gov, um, their website has information on which VITA sites may be open in your community. So if you are typically uh, using a VITA site to file taxes, I would encourage you to go there or call 211 to see if those sites are open. And if they're not, if there's some alternatives for you um, for help with filing your taxes. And again, if you feel like um, you've already been victimized or you're concerned about being victimized, you can call DADCAP um, and get the help you need uh, to protect your identity. Um, so that number is 1-800-422-7128. Uh, we also have a, a place where you can file a complaint at dadcap.wi.gov. We have an entire ID theft team that can help you if you think you've been the victim of ID theft, um, we can help you with that. And so be sure to reach out and, and let us know. That is a lot of information. And you're leaving me with like no option to ask you any follow-up questions here, but then there were some. And I, I start with, um, and of course, now I'm going to draw a blank here on, uh, on that. Well, I'll go back to that one. But uh, how about uh, uh, getting the, uh, and maybe not necessarily totally in the identity theft world, uh, but something you know we've talked about on this show is uh, you're going to see a lot of commercials related to um, get your money before your, you know, get the money ahead of time for your tax return, get some money uh, um, or, 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 or whatnot. Uh, 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 do you see any anything tied there to identity theft or or just miscommunication uh, by a preparer? Uh, uh, complaints on that front either way. So that what you're talking about are the refund anticipation loans. So when they're saying get your money before the government can give it to you, that's a loan, and and a lot of people use them. Um, the, 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 what people need to be aware of and looking out for is what those companies are doing with the information that you're giving them um, in exchange for that loan. So um, how, how much, are, what are the fees affiliated with that loan? Um, you know, what are, um, what are the repayment options with that loan? And then in the context of tax preparation, are you signing away the ability for that company to file your taxes? Um, and if you are, do you want to, and is it a legitimate company? Um, sometimes they are not legitimate. Now, not all companies that do this obviously are fraudsters, but there are some in that space. So just being aware of the relationship that you're getting into when you take out those loans. Um, and again, our suggestion is, um, it is to go to 211 if you need help with your tax filing, uh, rather than using uh, some of these companies that you don't know a whole lot about, 211 can direct you to legitimate companies that can help you. Yeah, that's definitely good information to know. Um, uh, going back to the question I wanted to ask, uh, uh, coming out of the identity theft, it, it, it is how common are these scams? So we keep talking about them every year, um, but obviously people are still getting um, they're still, their identity is still being stolen. They're still giving away information that they shouldn't have. Um, are you seeing a lot of these scams in Wisconsin specifically? And, and are there, is it a specific uh, age group uh, that's being targeted or is this just a blanket, you know, we gotta be safe no matter, which we know we should be, but uh, is there any, any ties to that uh, specifically to Wisconsin? Well, look, we have had cases come out of the Department of Justice, um, Wisconsin Department of Justice around tax preparer fraud um, and scams related to that. Um, but the reality is folks that are in need of money um, often, and I count myself included, um, are, are wanting to get to that yes, or wanting to get to that point where they can say, yeah, I came in here to get money and you, whatever box I need to check, I will check in order to get it. Um, and that, um, that's, where, that's where these scammers can really take advantage of you or just unfair, unfair or really um, not equally, what do I want to say, just provisions that are not treating you as well as you should be treated because they're taking advantage of the situation that you need this money. 
Um, and so that's what we're talking about. Just if you're interested in getting a refund anticipation loan or you're interested in getting a holiday loan, know what you're getting into, read the documents, make sure you're okay with the fees that they're charging, make sure that you're um, not finding away the ability to have them file your taxes unless you want them to, but just be aware. Um, and so that I think what I want to, what I'm trying to say is anytime you have a situation where someone is in need of quick cash, um, they have a debt that they need to pay off. Uh, they are more vulnerable than the average person and scammers take advantage of that. Um, that, and we know that from all the things that we talk about, you know, we know that from all the COVID scams, people are vulnerable for their health or their economic insecurity. That's where the scammers like to be. Um, as soon as you need something, they are there to tell you they have what you need. Um, and they're trying to steal your money, your identity or any things like that. So um, tax preparation is no different. And um, that's why we are talking about this um, today about safe places that you can go. Um, lots of us are economically insecure and have concerns, but you still need to go slowly. And if it looks too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Yeah, no, great information uh, as always. And uh, certainly can check out uh, DATCAP's website for uh, more information. Laura, thank you so much for the information. Always love the insights uh, uh, from, the, from the department uh, and appreciate your time uh, and Michelle's as well. Thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. All right, we'll talk, check in with you next month and we'll take a quick break and we have more to come right here on Talking Fitchburg.